Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, it's a simple unboxing video. I have five parcels to unbox from five incredible gentlemen. And uh, I am very, very excited to see what's in these. Now, some of them, I know what's in them already. Uh, I was already told. But there is others here and there that I have no idea what's what's inside them. And uh, yeah, very, very excited. See, the thing with me is I never unbox anything. I do it in front of the camera so I can give a genuine reaction uh, to these gifts. So uh, I don't want to waste any time because this might go on for a bit for a while. So let's get started. So the first parcel I'm going to start with, uh, no particular order, uh, is a gentleman by the name of Christopher Wayne. He sent me this parcel. Now, he did tell me that um, he was sending me some postcards uh, for Dawn of the Dead. Now, anyone that's aware of the Second Sight edition of Dawn of the Dead, if you bought that directly from Second Sight, you got these special postcards with the uh, with it. Now, I never bought mine from Second Sight, so uh, Christopher has actually sent these postcards over for me. But he did say that he threw in one or two other things as well. So, uh, right. So we've got the, I think these are the cards. Uh, so I'm going to quickly just unwrap these. And the table, there's actually more than just uh, Dawn of the Dead here. There's something else. It looks like he sent me something from wrong turn. I'll have a look now in a second. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued now. Really, I'm intrigued. So uh, these are the cards uh, for the Dawn of the Dead. It's just a couple of uh, uh, zombie characters uh, from the movie itself. So if you bought this directly from Second Sight, you would have got these. So uh, that is fantastic, Christopher. And thank you so much uh, for sending these over. They're actually in perfect condition as well. And... Uh, Fair play to you for wrapping them up as well as you did. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to find somewhere to put these beside my Dawn of the Dead uh, edition. So, uh, let's have a look and see what else he sent me. So, it's something to do at wrong turn. Uh, wow, these are they're, they're postcards as well. But they are massive. Uh, wow, these are big postcards. Let me just quickly show it to you. So, I honestly don't know what this is actually from. Uh... You know, I don't know if this is an actual edition that you can buy out there uh, for wrong turn. Because I'll tell you one thing, if it is, I, I'm intrigued uh, to pick it up. So uh, some of the cards in that look absolutely brutal. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Um, wow, I, I need to, if, again, if anyone can give me a bit of a heads up on that. Uh, what is this from? Um, because that's something I definitely would be interested in. They are absolutely amazing, Christopher. Thank you so much for that. Um... And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them. I actually have a bust of Wrong Turn right here. And uh, I'm going to put them in with that bust. So thank you so much for that. And then we also got... Uh, what have we got here? It's a poster. No, no, okay. This is starting to make a bit more sense. It says it says Umbrella, uh, Umbrella Entertainment down the bottom here. So Umbrella must have brought out a beautiful release of Wrong Turn. I have to tell you one thing. After seeing these cards and posters, uh, I need to have a look at this release and see what it's like. Uh, very interesting. So, yeah, thanks again for that, Christopher. A lovely little poster as well. And again, that will go in with the bust. And then he also sent me a, a movie we have here. Let's have a look and see what we got. Again, very well bubble wrapped. So uh, just bear with me till I actually open this up. Uh, very well bubble wrapped. Uh, Zavi uh, could take some lessons here from uh, Christopher. So uh, right, let's try and get this open. Nice, here we go. Oh, I've never seen this movie. So he has sent me uh, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Uh, I think this is Humphrey Bogart, if I remember correctly. Am I right in saying that? I, I am indeed. So this is actually a lovely release. It's a premium. Oh, this is the HMV premium edition. Right. Okay. Wow. That is actually incredibly nice. And uh, check out the slipcover you get with this. Uh, I don't have too many of these. Um, I know people that actually go out and collect every single one of these premium uh, editions. And uh, I can't blame them because they look, they do look beautiful. So uh, yeah, a movie I've never seen. I've definitely heard of it. But uh, yeah, never checked it out before. So thank you so much, Christopher. That is awesome unbelievably kind of you and rest assured i will check this out as soon as i can and uh, i will let you know my thoughts on it so there you go folks that is everything that i got uh, from christopher and a huge thanks again christopher for that that is unbelievable and i'm very intrigued to check out that umbrella release of wrong turn right up next is a parcel from a gentleman by the name of james stanton and he sent me this now he did tell me that this is going to be halloween themed 
So what James done was he actually checked out my Halloween collection that I'd done there. I think it was a video that I'd done, wow, over a year ago. And he checked that whole video out and he reckoned he found some Halloween items that I never actually had in my collection. And that's exactly what he sent me here. So I'm, yeah, very excited to see what he came up with because uh, it'd be very hard to try and get Halloween items that I don't have. Uh, right, so there is a letter here uh, that James wrote. And uh, it just simply says, Hey Keish, uh, do hope you are well. Enclosed are the Halloween DVDs for you as mentioned. Do hope you like them, enjoy, and look forward to hearing what you think of them. My best, James. Uh, that is incredible, James. Thank you so much for writing that letter. And just like all my letters that I receive from my uh, any subscriber, uh, this will go inside uh, one of these DVDs that you have sent me. So uh, thank you so much for that, James. Right, so here we go. Two DVDs. Uh, okay, right. Um, right, I, this one uh, is... I know of this. I definitely don't have it. And it is uh, Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Uh, terror, sorry. And uh, I presume this is just a, 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 a it is, it's just all features. And the first thing I noticed, funny enough, is Horror Hallows Grounds, uh, the tour of the Halloween series film locations. I'm a big fan of Sean Clark, uh, Sean Clark and uh, I love the, the location uh, videos that he does on YouTube. And it's great to see it on this. So yes, it's just, it's it seems to be... Uh, special features just spanned over the entire Halloween franchise. So that's incredible, uh, James. Thank you so much for that. And uh, yes, I definitely do not have this in my Halloween collection. And uh, honestly, uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to actually watch that tonight. So I will probably contact you and uh, let you know what I think of it. So thank you so much for that, James. Cannot wait to sit down and watch this. And then the other DVD that you sent me, I'm a bit curious about this one because... I do have it, but he obviously sent it to me for a reason. So uh, it is the Halloween 25th anniversary edition. Now, the thing is, this thing has some weight to it. Uh, an incredible amount of weight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, it's it's a six disc set. Okay, now it's starting to make sense. Uh, I definitely don't have this. So when you open it up, as you can see there, there are three uh, discs for Halloween. Uh, I'm not sure what I, I, I presume one you have the movie on DVD you've got special features I don't know what this disc here is uh, again it must be the movie itself then there is oh wow there's a television version inside it as well of Halloween and as you can see there uh, Halloween 4 and 5 so that is incredible it actually does remind me of the set that you got which I remember in um, America brought out a release of the Halloween collection and it came in this kind of like, a, you got the Michael Myers mask on the cover. And uh, it does remind me of the disc that was the, the set, the disc that were actually in that set. I'm wondering, is that what it is? But uh, yeah, definitely don't have that, James. So a huge thank you for that. That is uh, incredible. And rest assured, both of these are going to sit beautifully uh, in my Halloween collection. Thank you so much, James. And rest assured, when I watch this documentary, uh, or these uh, features, or the 25 Years of Terror, uh, I will let you know my thoughts on it. So a huge thanks for that. Right, so up next, I may as well stick to the Halloween theme here, seeming I'm on a bit of a roll. And uh, I got this parcel through the door. And uh, this is from a gentleman by the name of Christian. Uh, he uh, contacted me and he told me that he had a spare copy of Halloween Ends uh, on Steelbook. Now, if anyone's aware of my video that I've done on Halloween Ends, uh, I said in that video that I wanted I wanted the original uh, orange steelbook and not the blue one that I got, but uh, Amazon Itty made a mistake. So that's exactly what Christian has done. He's actually sent me uh, the orange steelbook. And Christian, by the way, the packaging uh, that you've done on that is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, the bubble, there was no way anything was happening to it. It was just wrapped in layers and layers of bubble wrap. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And here we go. Uh, oh God, I love this steelbook. So uh, Christian has sent me the Halloween Ends orange variant of this steelbook. And uh, yeah, I desperately wanted this steelbook. And uh, I think what happened with Christian, I think Christian wanted the blue version. And yet Amazon Italy sent him this one. I, I think I might, I don't know if I'm right with that or wrong. 
Uh, maybe he could, they sent him two copies. I don't know what it was, but there was a huge mix-up again on Amazon Italy's part. Uh, they were doing that a lot when this movie first got released. And uh, thank you so much for that, Christian. Uh, beautiful, beautiful steelbook. I do prefer it over the blue one. I really, really do. And uh, it is going to pair very, very nicely with that one now. So thank you so much for that, Christian. I really do appreciate that. It's a beautiful steelbook. So again, massive thanks for that. Right, so up next is a parcel from my future brother-in-law, Christopher. Uh, this was a, a Christmas gift uh, that was kind of late coming to me. And uh, when I opened this up, it, I had the biggest smile on my face. Uh, Chris knows that one of my favorite Christmas movies is Home Alone. And uh, he sent me this parcel here. And when I opened it, I thought this was great. So uh, check this out. Uh, he sent me uh, a framed poster of the battle plan that you see in Home Alone. And uh, it looks, it looks perfect. It really, really looks perfect. And I was originally going to put this, uh, uh, hang this up in my second movie room. But I think, you know what? I might try and find somewhere in here uh, to put it. Uh, because I think it looks class. And uh, thank you so much for that, Chris. I think it's amazing. It's, uh, Chris always comes up with some great gifts for me uh, when it comes to Christmas. And uh, here's another example of it. He always normally sends me uh, number plates from famous cars and movies. Uh, he tried something a little different here. And uh, well done, Chris. That is incredible. And uh, yeah, rest assured, that put the biggest smile on my face. So uh, yeah, I'm going to find somewhere in this room uh, to put that. Right, so up next is my last parcel, which is this one right here. It's from a, a gentleman by the name of Michael Witchy. And uh, I have to tell you, is, uh, Michael has probably the greatest Evil Dead collection you will ever see. Now, he sent me a few pictures on True Facebook. And uh, even now, he sent them to me a while back. And even now, I'm still going through them, trying to take in everything that this man has when it comes to the Evil Dead collection. I don't think he's a fully understand everything that he has. Now, I think there is uh, John over at Mondo Chalavik Movies, uh, link in the description below. But Ma uh, jo John is doing a stream and it's gonna be a an Evil Dead special. And I think Michael is gonna be on that stream. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get a good sense of this man's collection. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that stream. So uh, keep his eye out for that uh, whenever that stream does come about. I'm sure it will be very soon because with Evil Dead Rise coming, I'm sure John will want to get it out. But again, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So I'm very intrigued uh, to see that stream and see uh, Michael's collection. So uh, yeah, let's open this up and uh, let's see what's inside it. So I know Michael told me uh, he sent me a message saying don't read the letter first because the letter says everything that's in the parcel. So uh, I'm just going to put the letter to his side and try not to look at it. So the first thing I see is two uh, DVDs. So the first one we have here uh, is, a, a, it looks like a horror movie called Time Crimes. Now just going by the pictures in the back, it does look like a horror. And I have to tell you, I'm a little intrigued. I've never seen, you don't see too many horror movies out there. Uh, to do with, I presume it's time travel. Uh, so uh, there's a reason to why Michael has sent this to me. He obviously thinks that I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, I'm intrigued. I've never heard of it before. And uh, again, uh, hopefully Michael will contact me and just fill me in a bit more about what this movie is all about. So uh, yeah, very intrigued. Time Crimes. Thank you so much, Michael. That's going to be great to watch. So, uh, right, just let me put this down. Uh, right, so the next one we have is a is a documentary i think it is on evil dead and it's called uh, invaluable uh yeah it just seems to be i'm just trying to read it a feature length documentary uh on the epic right it's the artist for the uh, for the evil dead movie do you know i'm just seeing oh wow <laughs> i had a feeling he might send me an autograph uh, item i just i didn't even notice it when i first looked at it Oh my god, goodness, look, you actually see it there. Uh, Tom Sullivan, uh, the gentleman that came up with the, the Book of the Dead. Uh, he has actually got his autograph on this. And a little uh, little picture there as well, if you can see. And there's another autograph down the bottom here. Now, I can't make out uh, what the other autograph is. Uh, I, I'm sure it'll say it on the letter. I, I can't make it out, but there is, there is another autograph there. I'm intrigued. That is insane, Michael. Thank you so much. It was great to actually get uh, Tom Sullivan's uh, autograph. That is a uh, that is definitely a first for me. So uh, rest assured, um, I'm going to have to do something to protect this. Uh, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. So uh, yeah, just check that out again. Look at that. 
Tom Sullivan's autograph. Best wishes, Tom Sullivan. So uh, hopefully the letter will say what the other autograph is there. I honestly can't make it out. So that's insane. I think I might have this uh, documentary on my uh, Evil Dead anthology set. I need to look into it a bit more. But I, I do remember seeing that name. But uh, thank you so much. I definitely don't have the autograph. So that's, uh, that's amazing. So <laughs> thank you so much for that, Michael. Wow. Uh, right, so lastly we have... It looks like a vinyl. He sent me a vinyl. Uh, wow, he sent me the vinyl of Night of the Living Dead. Check that out. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Uh, no, this is not a vinyl. No. This is a laser disc. Right, right. That, that is insane. Now, I've, I've said this to numerous people. Look, I don't have a laser disc player. But I've said it in countless videos and countless streams that it was always a goal just to hold one. I always wanted just to hold um, a laser disc in my hand and uh, Michael has done it for me. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? Night of the Living Dead. And that is the Tom Savini Night of the Living Dead. And I don't believe... I just noticed the... Sh oh, I hope that's what it is. I hope that's what I think it is. Uh, I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but uh, I think that's Tom Savini's autograph. I think that is Tom Savini's autograph. I cannot believe that. I, you know what? I need, I need to read this letter. I need to read it. He says, Hi, Keith. Uh, love your channel. Here is a few bits to add to your collection. Uh, number one, Night of the Living Dead, 1990, laser disc signed by FX legend Tom Savini. Can't believe that. Unfortunately, the disc has some uh, rot, so it's more of a display piece. Uh, I met him in Waterford in 1997, got it signed then. His first UK appearance. That is insane. And uh, you know what? It's it, Look, it was always going to be a display piece anyway, um, uh, Michael, because like I said, I, I don't have a laser disc player. So uh, I am definitely <laughs> going to frame that. I cannot believe... I have an autograph for Tom, uh, for Tom Sullivan and uh, Tom Savini. Incredible. So uh, he also put down uh, the DVD of the superb documentary Invaluable. It's about the effects guy who did most of the effects on the Evil Dead, including creating the Book of the Dead. It is signed by Tom Sullivan. And the... Ah, right. So the, fella, the, the, the director of the documentary, uh, Ryan Mead, is the other autograph. So three autographs he sent me. And then he also says, bonus DVD of an amazing title known Spanish thriller, uh, Time Crimes. Uh, P.S. You already have the invaluable documentary in your Evil Dead anthology. Yeah, I knew it, seemed, it sounded familiar. Uh, obviously not signed. Hope you enjoy these gifts and let me know what you th uh, think of the masterpiece, Time Crimes, Mike. <sighs> that is insane, Michael. Uh, rest assured. That letter is going in with that laser disc. And uh, look, at, just another look at this again. Uh, check that out. And uh, there is the autograph. I can't believe I have um, Tom Savini's autograph. So I may as well do this now on camera. My first ever holding of a laser disc. And uh, here we go. Oh, wow. God, they are incredible. There's actually good weight to them as well. But uh, there we go. That is the laser disc itself. And that is the other side of it there. Isn't that just, that is just remarkable. So Michael, I promise you uh, what I'm gonna do there is I'm actually gonna go out and buy a frame and uh, I'm gonna frame uh, this up and uh, I'll send you a picture of it as soon as I get it framed. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, that I don't have many autographs. People know that when it comes to my collection. It just doesn't happen that much over here in Ireland, you know, just. You just don't see too many conventions or anything like that. So um, to be able to get autographs uh, is quite, quite remarkable. So there you have it, folks. That is my video. And a huge thanks to every single one of the gentlemen that sent me uh, gifts here. Uh, you honestly have no idea how much this means to me. Um, you are unbelievably generous. Uh, this community is just extraordinarily generous. And uh, I feel so unbelievably blessed to be part of all of this. So... Thank you, every single one of you. And rest assured, I'm sure I'm going to text every one of you and just show my gratitude. 
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. That is all my parcels. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, share your thoughts on some of these amazing gifts. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.